Hello everyone, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy for what this person is not telling you currently, we have true love, new beginning, we also have the nine of pentacles in reverse, and we have the ace of swords here. All right, so when it comes to what this person is not telling you currently, you are the true love of their life, okay? And they're actually wanting to have a new beginning with you. This person is wanting the two of you to forget about the past, take a chance, and start all over again. With the Nine of Pentacles being in reverse, it lets me know that this person doesn't want anyone else to have you, okay? They don't like for you to be single. I also feel like there's something about your energy that kind of feels a void for this person it doesn't completely feel the void but it feels it a little bit better than anything else does huh so this may be someone that feels as though something is missing in their life or they don't feel complete for some reason like I said, they do want to have a new beginning with you, but there may be issues with communication. If you notice on this card, there's a ring around this person's neck. So it lets me know that someone may not be speaking up. Hmm. With the Ace of Swords being here, for some of you, you will be getting honest communication from this person, letting you know that they want to be with you. Now, I'm not going to say they'll be honest about every single thing, but when they tell you that they want to be with you, they'll be honest about that, okay? Now, for some of you, they may be telling other people that they want to have a new beginning with you, or they could just be thinking about it. Regardless, this is someone that's wanting to be with you. At the bottom of the deck, we have control. So they do have control issues. I also feel like they want to control you being able to play the field. Like I said, it's coming out like they don't want to see you with anyone else. They have made a lot of choices based out of ego. And for some of you, this person has tried to strike up jealousy within you. Especially if you haven't been communicating with this person as much. Or if you've been closed off to what they have to say. They may have been doing things to make you jealous. Now, for some of you, this could be future energy where this person starts doing things to try and make you jealous. But yeah, this is someone that basically wants to control you keeping your options open. For some of you, they may even want to control you giving your heart to someone else because notice the closed fist on this card and there's a heart on a string here. So it's like they want to control who you give access to your heart. Wow. So yeah, this person, they are in love with you. They are. Um, now I will say this. For some of you, this person could possibly be entertaining someone else. Okay, um, especially with the Nine of Pentacles being in reverse, that's energy of someone not being single. So it could be that they don't want you to be single or it could be that this person isn't single. So yeah, when it comes to what this person is not telling you currently with the Ten of Cups being in reverse, they're unhappy and they feel like they're lacking an emotional connection, a deep emotional connection. For some of you, they feel a lack of support from their family or the people around them. They may be having issues within their family as of now. I feel like they're also focused on finances. Huh. Now, this is going to be specific. Take it if it fits, leave it if it doesn't. If you know for sure this person has gotten involved with someone else, they're unhappy with that person. Like I said, they feel as though they're lacking a deep emotional connection with that other person. But only take that if it fits. They are wanting to give to this again. But at the same time, they're wondering if you're wanting the same thing. For some of you, this person is going to return with the Eight of Cups being in reverse. They're just dissatisfied with life right now. This person is coming off as lost, detached, disconnected. They're looking to fill a void, but they're looking outside of themselves to fill it. So they may be trying to fill that void with material things. Hmm. They could be looking for another person to fill that void. Take it however it fits. 
yeah with the ace of cups being in reverse it's definitely coming out like they're dealing with someone else okay but they're not in love with that person it seems to be a dysfunctional relationship this person is drained on an emotional and a spiritual level with the ten of swords being in reverse they are hoping that the two of you will be able to recover from some type of ending or betrayal here i feel like they felt that way all along whenever the betrayal happened or whenever the two of you disconnected or separated i feel like this person really deep down never wanted to let you go but i also feel like they did start engaging with someone new someone that they're not even in love with with the death card being here along with the queen of swords they feel like you are done they feel like you're done a lot of you have been putting your foot down. You're standing strong when it comes to your boundaries. Some of you, not all of you, but some of you have let this person have it. You may have really gave them a piece of your mind if they tried to return to you. Okay. There are some of you that are open to communicating with this person, but you're not going to be taking any of their crap. So they feel as though you're done with them and you're focused on moving on to the next phase of your life. They feel like you're detaching from them. They may also feel as though you're cold toward them. See, with the Queen of Swords, along with the Ace of Cups in reverse, they feel like you have fallen out of love with them or that you're falling out of love. Hmm. It's coming out like they think that them returning back to you would be an unrequited situation. Like I said before, they're wanting to know that you're wanting the same thing that they want, which is a new beginning, to put the past behind you and have a new beginning together. But they feel as though you don't really want that. They want it, but they feel like you don't want it. So for some of you, that's why this person goes back and forth when it comes to returning to you. There are times where they gain the confidence to return they think about returning and then they change their mind about it because they get in their head and for some of you they think they've done too much i also feel like this person is trying to recover financially they may have taken a financial hit but yeah they did try to move forward and invest elsewhere but they're exhausted and they want to give up on that other situation they may also be cheating on that other person I don't know why there's energy coming out about what they have going on with someone else. Possibly because they're with someone else and still want to be with you. That may be the reason. But like I said, if they are involved with another person, they're cheating on that person. Mm. But yeah, I just feel like this person is trying their best to remain stable right now. They do have a lot going on. And at the same time, they seem like a lost soul. It's like this person has no clear purpose in life. All they know is that they want to be successful. All they know is they want the finer things in life. They want to have a lot of money. That's all they know. When it comes to their life purpose, they have no clue. They have absolutely no clue. For some of you, they could be regretting listening to some of their friends or listening to someone close to them. There may be someone that may have been influencing this person. But there is some self-pity here along with regret because they feel like they lost their empress or emperor. I mean, there's only one empress, one emperor in the deck. There's plenty of queens and kings, but when it comes to the empress and the emperor, there's only one. So you don't come a dime a dozen. This person is aware of that. Now, this is going to be specific. Take it if it fits. Leave it if it doesn't. For some of you, they're mourning the loss of someone close to them. It's coming out like a mother figure or a father figure. Could be a grandparent. Um, someone in their family. Someone that took care of them. Okay? Or someone that was there for them in some way, shape, or form. Hmm. Wow. So, yeah, this person, they are in some pessimistic energy right now. And they seem to be going through a lot. 
but they are wanting to talk to you to let you know that they want to be with you. The problem here is that this person flip-flops too much. They think about doing it, then they change their mind. Now, for some of you, this person has already come in. But for others of you, they're in their head about it or they're talking to other people about it instead of coming to you, letting you know what they're thinking and how they're feeling. I don't know why they feel like they have to have a strategy when it comes to everything. Instead of them just coming with honest, pure communication, they strategize a lot. They like to have a, an approach or a strategy when it comes to certain things. Let's see what else comes out. Give me more messages, please, Holy Spirit, when it comes to this person. What are they not telling my viewers currently when it comes to love? What is this person not telling my viewers currently when it comes to love? Two more shuffles. All right, so let's see what else comes out here. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have hot and cold. So this person is aware that you deserve better than their hot and cold behavior. And that's one thing that they're needing to sacrifice, okay? Them being in and out, coming off hot and cold. This is someone that's unreliable. They know that there's a lot of changes they are needing to make, but at the same time, they're not completely ready. Huh. Give me more. What is this person not telling my viewers currently? We have waiting and that card came out crossing. Restricted is at the bottom of the deck. So like I said before, for some of you, this person does not want you giving anyone else access to your heart. But for others of you, this person is feeling restricted and confined by their circumstances. It could be that they're already in another relationship. For others of you, it could be that this person's money is really messed up and they're trying to get their ducks in a row before they approach you. Hmm. But with the waiting card being here, this is about waiting for someone's return. It says waiting for your return hasn't been easy, but I'm still hopeful. With that card coming out crossing, there is an issue with someone returning. Either you're not waiting for this person to return to you, or it could be that this person feels as though you're not going to return to them. This could definitely be symbolic of this person waiting for you to return back to them, waiting for you to um, be the one to initiate the reconciliation. Hmm. But yeah, they feel restricted, confined by their circumstances and unrequited is right beside that. So for some of you, like I said before, it could be that this person feels like you don't want the same thing that they want. And they don't want to take an ego blow by coming toward you and getting rejected. Now, for some of you, this person's urge to come toward you is so strong that they don't care whether they get rejected or not. But for others of you, this person is already in a fragile state especially within their mind. So they don't want to take a blow to their ego. Not right now. Give me more. What is this person not telling my viewers? Okay, so we have children and the other. Karmic love is at the bottom of the deck. Thank you for the confirmation, Holy Spirit. I was telling you guys before in the overall energy that this person could be involved with someone else. Okay. Okay. Whoever they're involved with could have children for a few of you, and please don't force it to fit, but for a few of you, they could have children with this other person. It could be that the other person is trying to trap them with a child or using children against them in some way, shape, or form. Whoever the other person is, they're a karmic, okay? Hmm. This is giving me energy of this person may be being introduced to the karmic's family or the karmic's children and the karmic using that as an excuse for the two of them to remain together, even though things aren't really working between the two of them. It's almost like the karmic telling them, well, I've introduced you to my children. 
You know, my children think the world of you. They're fond of you. My family loves you. You know, you're going to do this to us like that type of energy. Them holding something over this person's head. Huh. That's really specific. So please don't force that to fit. Regardless, they are in a karmic cycle with someone. It could just be that the karmic is childish. Okay. Could be that. Give me more. What is this person not telling my viewers currently when it comes to love? All right. So we have new perspective. So for some of you, this person has a new perspective when it comes to this relationship. It's giving aha moment. Like they've come to a moment of clarity in regards to what this relationship means to them. Give me more. What are this? We have work here. So this person may be realizing that they could have done more to make things work. This is also giving me energy of them thinking about how they would do things differently this time around. I'm not saying that they'll come in and be a completely different person, but I do feel like they think a lot about how they would handle things differently this time around. Now, whether they do that or not is a completely different story, but they are thinking about it. They're also watching you as well. So for those of you that have social media, they're keeping close tabs on you. They're keeping a close eye on you. If you don't have social media, they're just curious. Give me more. What is this person not telling my viewers? Thank you. We have soul contracts. Huh. So one reason why it's so hard for this person to let you go is because their soul recognizes you. Okay. Their soul recognizes your soul. So for some of you, you do have a soul contract with this person. Now that card wanted to come out crossing. So it lets me know that some of you have already fulfilled your end of the soul contract. But for others of you, the reason why this person is still drawn to you is because they didn't complete their end of their soul contract. So regardless of how far they try to run from you, regardless of how much they try to distance themselves, the scales have to be balanced. The scales have to be balanced. And see, what they don't understand is running from this connection or running from their end of the soul contract, especially on a spiritual or an energetic level, it's only going to rack up more karma for them. But yeah, their soul recognizes your soul. 5D wise, they know that they have a contract that they need to fulfill. But 3D wise, this person's completely lost in the sauce. They are lost. Too busy worried about things that they can't afford or too busy worried about things that they can't take with them. Give me more. Thank you. We have revealing here. So for some of you, this person's going to come in expressing some of the things that are on their mind. Like I told you before, they may not completely confess every single thing, but if they tell you they want to be with you, they're being honest about it. Give me more. What is this person not telling my viewers? Thank you. We have reconciliation. Thank you for the confirmation, Holy Spirit. And we also have unrequited. Now, I was just telling you guys that this person feels as though you no longer want to be with them. They think having a reconciliation would be unrequited. I was just saying that in the overall energy. Now, that's confirmation. So they want to reconcile with you, but they feel like you don't really want to reconcile with them. Mm. Give me more. What is this person not telling my viewers currently when it comes to love? Thank you. We have divinely guided and we also have shadow work. So there is a lot of work that this person is needing to do. Shadow work to be exact. And however things are working in this connection, it's working out the way that it's supposed to. Okay. This relationship, this connection is being divinely guided. 
So if you are wanting things to work out with this person and things aren't going the way that you want them to go, know that you're being protected. Because like I said, this person has a lot of shadow work that they need to do. And they actually operate or work out of inner darkness. Hmm. Give me one more card. What is this person not telling my viewers? Thank you. We have risk. So they feel like they're going to end up losing their chance with you. For some of you, they feel like they've already lost their chance. At the top of the deck, we have restricted. So they want to take a risk with you. But at the same time, they feel restricted or confined by their circumstances. That keeps coming out. For some of you, they feel like you've closed off your heart to them. That could be um, the case as well. So they feel confined. They feel a lack of control. They feel restricted because they feel like you have cut off access to your heart. For some of you, it could even be they feel like you're not completely letting them into your heart space. But yeah, this is someone that feels as though you are the true love of their life. They do want a new beginning with you. For some of you, they're going to come in communicating that to you. For others of you, they're going to communicate that to other people. They don't want you being single. They don't want anyone else having access to your heart. They're aware that you deserve better than their hot and cold behavior. They are looking at things from a different perspective. They're realizing they could have done more in order to make things work. And they're also realizing that one thing they could have done is work on their inner darkness. Okay. They know that there are things that they need to work on, changes that they need to make, especially when it comes to their shadow self. But I honestly feel like for some of you, um, when it comes to shadow work, they don't know how to do shadow work. Their soul recognizes you. Okay. This person is still drawn to you because they haven't fulfilled their end of a soul contract. They do want to reconcile with you, but at the same time, they feel like you don't feel that same way about them. For some of you, they are going to come in revealing something to you, expressing what's on their mind. But there is fear or worry here that you're no longer waiting for them. Some of you may be waiting for things to work out between you and this person, but others of you, you're done. Okay? You are done. All right. So that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.